Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Umbrella Academy. This is Season 1, Episode 5, Number 5. Um, it's the last time... I was reading my notes, and they don't make sense. But I don't have that many notes. <laughs> last time, um, I remember that... What's his fucking name? Klaus. He was interrogated by Hazel and Cha-Cha, um, starting to learn how to use his powers... Eventually got freed by the detective, but unfortunately she got killed in the process. Um, Diego's being a little two-faced hoe still, um, not telling the family about what he's doing, kind of running off. I know we had the, the sisters and the brothers working together for a little bit. Um, we found number five, he was drunk. Um, so hopefully, I, I'm hoping to see, because it is about him, I'm assuming this episode, I'm hoping to see him sort of open up a little bit, um, at least get everyone on the same page as far as this apocalypse going. Um, and then on Vanya's side, we have the stalker dude who is, for some reason, throwing away all of her pills, and I'm trying to figure out why that is. So, um, yeah, let's just see if we get any of these questions answered. Also, Klaus stole their briefcase, Hazel and Chacha's briefcase, and it has teleportation technology. So... We'll see where that goes. Oh. Who the hell is that? From what I could gather, we have four days left. Why didn't you say something sooner? Mm -hmm. It wouldn't have mattered. Of course it would. We could have banded together and helped you try to stop this thing. For the record, you already tried. Okay, but they maybe they weren't prepared. Horribly. You have any idea what you just did? No! Let me get your ape hands off of me! You can do this only <laughs> takes you to calm down. Who are they, Five? Uh, yeah, tell us. They work for my former employer. What? I mean, they turned me into the perfect instrument but for rehabilitation. Not the Hindenburg. <laughs> Uh, of course, I knew they were gonna have JFK. Like, so fucking obvious. How'd the assassination go off? So he did go. He did. He time traveled because he's wearing something else and he's bloody. Is he in a war? Some people actually mean what they say. Oh, uh, Vanya! Wow, girl. Look at him! <laughs> God, listen to Allison. I know she's. Mm. Maybe I will have some coffee. You know? Is that salt? I don't think you're Oh, sugar. Okay. <laughs> no, no. You did just put salt in your coffee. It was salt! What the hell? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What happened to the, what happened to the other girl? No, she just stopped showing up. Nuh-uh. Oh, you little... You, That's mm. good news. You get a chance to audition. Oh. He, he killed a person. <laughs> um, what is he doing? What is his fucking endgame? <laughs> I literally wrote down Leonard, you bitch. Do you know what this means? Yeah. I'm ten months older no, now. No, this isn't any sort of joke. <laughs> Hazel and Chacha will do whatever they can to get the briefcase. He's still wearing the green. Interesting. Who the hell is Mr. Peabody? Is that Bless Leonard you. somehow? Thanks. Oh my god. Uh, girl, not you going to his house. Child. Mm. Wow, this is a first. I don't know if they're gonna kick him out. I mean, he's got the tattoo, he's got the patch. What do you want? Just go away, please. Not until you talk to me. Okay, Diego, yay. That you are depriving some village of their idiot! Oh god, it's not the barber brawl. <laughs> They 
Yeah, <laughs> these two, I can't with these two. <laughs> Secret of life, huh? Hey, you might want to fast track your timeline. Uh, girl. <laughs> Boy. Life is short. Oh my god, these two, I, I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Revelation. You know, everything's a big joke to you, right? Well, you stop. Why are you putting this shit in your body? Well, Not him with the pocket stash. <laughs> Just good. What's going on with you? Don't hit me, asshole! Don't tell me everything is alright because I saw you in there. You were crying like a baby. Because I lost someone. Whose death could save the world? I've narrowed it down to four. Are you saying one of these four people causes the apocalypse? No, I'm saying that their death might prevent it. What? How do you... <laughs> You're not going anywhere. Oh. Please. <laughs> not, <laughs> not Dolores. All I could find is a photo and his name in the phone book. It's like he didn't exist. You are unbelievable. You're trying to dig up dirt on a guy that I like? Who does that? Look, I've had my fair share of stalkers and creeps. I don't trust him. You mean you don't trust me? What? No, the, the, this is not about you. And for the first time, someone thinks I'm special. That's the problem. Girl. I'm just worried about you. Well, you're not my... He's the one we need to worry about right now. Why? Because he's in the parking lot hiding behind an ice cream truck. Bruh, not... Diego, what the fuck kind of hiding spot? <laughs> Girl, what are you gonna do? Peek around? Oh my god, what if she finds his bo her body? The first chair. Oh no, I don't trust this! What is happening? Does she have like hypnosis? Something's happening with her. Get out! Elsa! <laughs> Faces are the best. He just <laughs> okay. So they're oh, I'm dumb. Oh, not Klaus and Diego and the ice cream truck. I knew they were gonna fucking use the ice cream truck. It was standing right there. <sighs> no. No. no! Neat trick, isn't it? Oh. All of them? Yes, all of them. Uh, I don't like this deal mm -hmm. with the devil. I'll see what I can do. Do we have a deal? Uh-uh. Anya. Anya. This is your time. Who the fuck are you? Let me guess. First chair's up in the attic, huh? R.H.? Is that hard dreams? Diego killed me. Fine. Do you remember what happened? I do. And you understand that the children can never know. Huh? I understand. They did? Good. They... What? They get... Uh, they killed... They killed Hargreaves? <laughs> what? <laughs> um... I feel like a lot... <laughs> I 
feel like a lot just happened. Um, okay, we got some more information on five and whole uh, the, the the everything with the future and there's an agency called the Commission, and basically they protect the timeline. Um, I don't know why. We didn't we didn't learn why the apocalypse needs to happen, what it affected, you know who's in who orchestrated it. If they, I mean their excuse is that this is the natural way of things, you know this is how it's supposed to happen. But I feel like targeting specific people is kind of their thing. So I'm assuming if there's some people that are left alive, obviously they targeted people that had to die in this apocalypse. So. We still got to learn about that. Um, damn. Okay. Leonard. I wrote, Leonard, you bitch. I knew he killed freaking first chair. That was the freaking obvious thing. Um, I still don't know what his end goal is. Like, I don't think he's just incel that wants Vanya. You know, I feel like there's more to it than he's just a stalker for her. You know, I, I feel like there's either something to do with her powers and her role in things. Maybe maybe it's tied to this apocalypse storyline somehow and that she's going to help save them. Um, honestly, that would be the most compelling storyline to me because it would be kind of like Five was saying, for the greater good kind of thing. You know, people had to die so that she can help save the world. Um but he's also just really creepy, <laughs> so I feel like it's not going to be something as benign or even morally gray as that. I feel like he's definitely more sinister um, that, than we know. But then again, we learn from Allison that he didn't exist before then, so maybe he is from the Commission. He's a renegade agent as well. I don't know. Um, but I, I don't know what's up with him. And then also this invisible thing. I assumed that was part of her, but then it kind of like went miles and miles of seeing back to the house. So I don't know if it's connected to her or not, or if it was some other force that was just there. Um, uh, and then at the end there, we got Pogo and Grace talking. Apparently they might have... The only thing I can think of that they can't tell the kids is that they were the ones that killed Hargreaves. Because it wouldn't make sense for the secret to be that Diego killed Grace, you know, like none of the kids can know. It's like, well, Diego already knows. So, um, I feel like it has to be something that we don't know. So it has to not involve any of the kids. So the only thing I can think of is the true death of Hargreaves. Um, unless it's some other thing that we aren't privy to yet, but yeah, Grace is back. I, you know, Pogo was working on it earlier, but I was like, I don't know if she can come back. Like, I, I feel like Diego kind of messed her up, but I guess he just fixed her. Um, uh, I'm, I'm liking Klaus a little bit more again. Um, I think that his. <sighs> okay, I'm not gonna make it more deep than it is. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna go into a tangent about how. Um, I think that's some of my teeth. I thought the tangent, sorry. Um, <laughs> I, was, I was about to go into a tangent about how, um, you know, the tragedy and agony makes characters more interesting and how that's a bad thing. But I'm not going to get into it. So, um, but I think his storyline, adding the fact that he is now a Vietnam vet, um, I think it's going to help further his character development and... You know, he was still doing drugs and, you know, drinking in this episode, but I feel like it's another step closer to getting him clean and getting him sober in the sense of not just drugs and alcohol, but also reality grounded, you know. Um, uh, but yeah, I like I like that. It, it, it also kind of like gives him more combat experience and... Again, just sort of more, uh, he, he's just more grounded in the real world now that he's been in a war. Um, uh, I think it'll help him sort of step up to the plate more, you know. I mean, we, we like, because right now our fighters are Luther and Diego, and they're very much 
ingrained in this sort of vigilante lifestyle and they have their own they have their own ways of doing things but they're both like combat ready in a sense allison to an extent she's not at their level but she does you know we've seen that she can fight you know we see that she is smart and you know kind of street wise but klaus he's just kind of been there so i feel like this is going to sort of level him up a little bit to be on on equal footing you know he, he we saw the bar uh, yeah the vietnam or no, sorry the veterans uh bar brawl kind of thing you know we saw him fighting there so i think that was really the first sort of combat he's been in in the show um i don't remember in the flashback way back in episode two i believe um when we saw them as kids out the bank robbery you know i don't specifically remember klaus doing anything there but maybe he did and i just forgot um but yeah my point is you know everyone else kind of has fighting experience so i think this will be good for him um again we learned about five and his adventures in the future um what else happened i feel like i hit the big points i'm liking allison and her detective sleuthing um i think you know i <laughs> i don't think she did anything wrong this episode you know, she spoke her mind. She let Vanya know, hey, he's kind of weird. Vanya didn't want to hear it, but, you know, she tried. That's all I can say. You know, Ellison is at least looking out for Vanya. Um, and hopefully at least just having those words in her head and just sort of sowing these seeds of doubt will hopefully come back at a future point where Vanya will actually click with it. But then again, she just did you know, we saw, we saw how she feels about Leonard right now, so, uh, yeah, I just don't know how this storyline is going to end, and then also, I mean, yeah, you know, Luther and Allison were just kind of there this episode, they were doing stuff, but, um, maybe we'll see a bit more progression for their personal storylines and, and development next episode, um, but it was definitely focused on, it wasn't even focused on five, to be honest to me, like, I think Vanya had a pretty big revelation this episode i think klaus had a pretty big story moment but five he was there i mean i guess he was he's learning to work with his brothers you know he's he's learning to work as a team to trust them he told luther about the future so he's getting there he's he's, he's making some good strides too um oh last i guess important thing is uh <laughs> he made a deal with the handler that so I'll have to rewatch, but I know for sure he wants to save his family, all of them. That's what's getting me, you know, he, he didn't specify, he just said all of them. So I don't know who that's going to count, um, but he made some sort of deal where I'm presuming he's going to join up back with the commission in exchange for saving their lives. So the apocalypse is still going to happen, from what I understand. I don't know. It's, it's a tricky... Tri I, I don't know if that was the play, but we'll, we'll see how it shakes out, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's very scary to me, whatever is going to happen with that story. Um, I think those are all the big points that I wanted to hit on. So leave your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you guys think of this episode? Uh, yeah, Jesus. I, I can't. I can't. Um, also, just random, um, this donut, donut lady, I, <laughs> it's too much. Um, anyways, I'll talk to the guys in the comments down below, and oh, it's, it's, it's getting, it's getting spicy. Uh, I know there's 10 episodes for this season, for world season, I believe, so 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're halfway there. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.